With that said, I'll officially be changing my pronouns to they, them. I can't imagine living life on my truth. (laughs) That's a scary thought. What's up guys, how you doing? I'm Paul. I'm Morgan. In today's video, Demi Lovato has changed her pronouns. I'm assuming that she was okay with being called a she up until recently. This is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be interesting. It's it's tough. The world we live in, 2021 America and worldwide is confusing. Is it not? I mean, can we agree that- My brain just begins to melt. It's if I really think tough. about it. <laughs> okay, so just Demi Lovato, I'm assuming she was okay with being called a she. Mm-hmm. Now she is saying she's come into her new truth, which is they, them, and that she's non-binary. It's going to be interesting to hear how this conversation goes, but I'm ready to dive in. Help us, Lord. Give us wisdom. Give us love, discernment, and truth. Let's do this. Yeah. Before we get into this though, make sure you subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you know when we drop a new video and when we go live. We make videos on culture and social issues from a Christian perspective to help you have hope. And be free. And real quick guys, we invite you to become a patron and support us here on YouTube and what we're doing. If you like what we're doing and you want to see more of it, this is a huge way you can help keep the train a going. We do patron only podcasts, patron only Zoom calls, and this is just an awesome way to support us and we'll post the link below. I wanna first, can I start? Yeah, but by all means. Okay. I know I typically start, so I'm excited to hear you start. (laughs) I wanna start by saying, I feel really sorry for Demi Lovato. I feel like from the moment she left Disney and started just becoming more of a rebel and things and, and whatnot, she just has really, really struggled. She's str- and she's like that's With th- that's so not us, things. right? That's not us getting on her or speculating. It's no. just the truth. You hear her interviews, her documentaries. Struggle has been a huge part of her life huge part of her life with before she even was in the light struggles with her dad having father issues and abandonment issues and alcohol issues from just family and then her struggling with alcohol and drug addictions and uh, sex addictions and body image issues sexuality this girl has seriously gone through it it's just so clear that demi lovato is very lost and is searching and searching and she'll she said it like in her announcement video Mm -hmm. of being non-binary that she is still searching figuring things out and we're gonna get to her announcement video here in just a minute and work our way through that how disappointing it is to see these common trends like it just seems so expected think of like Demi Lovato starting early, going through the Disney Channel explosion of popularity. Miley Cyrus. I mean, to me, Miley Cyrus has so many similarities. Oh, yeah. I mean, Miley Cyrus, I think, has come out saying she's like, I don't know, pansexual, something like that. Um, (laughs) Selena Gomez, maybe not quite the uh, intensity and confusion, but she's had her stuff. And yet we still, so many Americans, like, hold these people on such a high pedestal and, like, aspiring to be like them. And what what did they say? They came out saying this? Oh, that's so good. Like, I'm going to take that as advice and wisdom for my life. I say it again. Watch who you are, who you're taking just like political advice from, spiritual faith advice from. Life advice from. I just feel like like we have stuff that we are working through. Mm -hmm. We do. Morgan and I do today. Yep. But (laughs) I just feel like some of the most lost, confused people are these people that are unfortunately in the biggest spotlights as messed up. As messed up. Demi Lovato. Let's just jump right into her announcement video. Over the past year and a half, I've been doing some healing and self-reflective work. And through this work, I've had the revelation that I identify as non-binary. With that said, I'll officially be changing my pronouns to they, them. So much self-reflection, so much self-improvement, self-work, all about me. And now here's where I've arrived or here's where I'm arriving. I'm non-binary. I'm sorry, but how is this going to help you? I feel like it's just going to be that much more confusing for you as a person. Literally, you don't know who you are. You are literally trying to say that I'm both male and female. I lean on both sides. I feel like a man in this way and a woman in this way. So I'm both. That is so confusing. And I think in a a different part of this kind of same interview video, she 
says, you know, I'm, I'm so happy to be at this place because I never want to go back to the low points that I was. So like I'm coming into my truth and it's like, wow. So saying I'm non-binary, they, them, literally like I'm not a, a he, a she, a male or female, I'm all and both. That's gonna help you yeah. in your quest for inner peace and inner healing and identity. I just feel like we are seeing more and more and more. I mean, it's, it's so common now to literally see the pronouns of a person in their bio, their Instagram feed. Oh yeah. He, him, she, her, whatever. They, them. Yeah. And it's just that to me is like so clear to me how lost people really are because they are trying to fulfill well you're stepping on some toes here because i've seen you know the labels christian and then she <laughs> yeah. her and that's just disturbing to me him i'm underneath. gonna just say it. that's just disturbing to me I, I don't know what you guys are doing and why but you need to knock it off <laughs> You are exactly who God made you to be. There is nothing you need to change. There is nothing that needs to be shifted. That's just where I stand. But I understand the feeling of being lost. I understand the feeling of no purpose in life. I understand the feeling of confusion and heaviness and lowness and darkness. I understand those feelings. But I'm telling you, out of experience, you'll never ever feel fulfilled through things of this world, through labels, through identities, through relationships, through drugs, through alcohol, through whatever it might be. And so Demi can go on and go ahead and say that they, them, that's what they are now. But I have a feeling that in a few years or maybe even a year, I don't know, we're going to see that they are struggling once again with something else. I don't want to like declare that over her, but I'm just kind of saying I think that's the case. That's the direction we see all these people go down is they just continuously struggle and struggle and struggle. Because they need to meet their maker. Yep. The power who is higher than them and not their power, not their truth. So Morgan, I gotta ask you because um, in a live, I believe, no, it was in our Caitlyn Jenner video, you shared some of your thoughts regarding uh, someone who's transitioning and what pronouns to use. Yep. <laughs> you you shared kind of a personal story of a friend. I shared you, that on my Instagram. You shared it on your Instagram. Follow us on Instagram if you guys don't. We just share a lot of stuff on there. You had a slightly different perspective than maybe I did. Like your conviction maybe was a little different than mine. Assuming Assuming you have a friend like Demi Lovato saying my pronouns are they, them, are you able to do that? Because I'm just thinking about it and I'm like, I'm sorry guys, the confusion is just too much. The trying to get me, and Demi wasn't saying it in like a, you guys call me this, but, but it's just the reality of it. Like how far are we going to take this? How far are we going to let it go? For the, in the name of being loving or being, you know, trying to, to meet them where they're at, right. are you going to call someone a they? Which is grammatically incorrect. It just is. Right. I, I, I think personally, I would just avoid any type of gender specific nouns, pronouns, <laughs> um, when it comes to someone who wants to be called they, them. It's just confusion to a new level. And the idea of just... You can't be a they, them! people you can't i'm sorry pick one or the other at least i just don't i don't think it's good for society where anything goes confusion reigns yep i saw someone recently and this is becoming more common but they're calling their child a they then and i was just like man alive i literally want to cry thinking about that the confusion in that child's life growing up is going to be so incredibly destructive and so dangerous and in this is my personal opinion I believe it firmly <laughs> but I just cannot imagine growing up like that and now we've got these adults and these kids are looking to these adults like like wait wait what are they they're not a male it's, it's not a lady what is it what is it? To me, it's like, have you lost all self-respect for yourself? You're so unsure about yourself that you just are like, I, I, like, I don't know the personal struggle behind that, behind making that decision. And I know a lot of people say like, that's so brave of her or, or that's so brave of them to come out and, and claim this and claim that they're non-binary. So like, brave. Way to go. Well, so on that note, before we continue the clip, I heard somebody on 
YouTube saying a lot of times you'll hear announcements like this from a celebrity whose career is starting to, you know, where they were totally the hottest thing and now it's kind of, eh, is the timing of this a little odd? Also, with the whole frozen yogurt debacle from a couple weeks ago and she got, it, it would seem like a lot of hate, like the majority of people yeah. that saw that story were against Demi Lovato and yeah. so now is she kind of like, this is my scapegoat, guys, I'm coming out and stepping into my truth, they, them. Does that yeah. seem like something here? Yeah, you know, and some people are going to come on here and be like, how dare you even make that claim? You don't know how scary it is to come out and, and say that you feel non, that you are non-binary or you are a he instead of a she. And you might be right, but you also might be wrong. <laughs> like, I think that there very much could be a reason behind this that isn't a, oh, I feel non-binary. It's like a, well, I kind of am like, you know, experimenting yeah. with my identity and now's a good time to announce well, and it. And you because... know how praised coming yeah. out of the closet is in Hollywood and just general America, it would seem. It's no longer a big deal if you come out of the closet. Now it's like, you gotta come out of the closet and say that you're actually a he instead of a she, and she instead of a he, and a they, them. Like, we're taking it to the next level. It just keeps going up and up and up now. <sighs> It's crazy. It's crazy. We are living in crazy times, people. At some point, <laughs> you just have to say, I love you. I care about you and respect you as a person, but I cannot continue to go down this road. Let's, let's continue the clip. I feel that this best represents the fluidity I feel in my gender expression and allows me to feel most authentic and true to the person I both know I am and still am discovering. Person I both know I am and I'm still discovering. Like that sounds kind of like a humble way to say it, but is that uh, like an oxymoron? The person I know I am, which is they, them, and I'm still discovering. Mm. So I don't know who I am. Yeah. It's so, conf like, are you guys confused? Are you as confused as we are? Cause I'm very confused and I'm very sad about this whole situation. I'm very sad that people like Demi Lovato come out, have such a big platform, and share this stuff with young, confused people already. Like, I'm 26, and I'm confused, like, just in life in general, but... Ouch. <laughs> so I can't even imagine. Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> Would you say that there are elements of life, and they, there are, that are just like, what is... Life is confusing yes. sometimes, but there's there there's like taking that to another level. I wouldn't look at you and say Morgan is just a completely confused person. <laughs> no, and that's that's what I'm trying to say though is that like I'm confused, but I have the word of God that I stand on. So like I can't imagine these young people who are hearing Demi share this stuff, and they're like thinking like what. Maybe that's true. Well, and my I, truth. Yeah, I should live in my truth. I, I don't know the st stats off the top of my head, but I think if you look at the amount of Gen Z that are saying, yeah, I'm gay, I'm trans, I'm non-binary, it's like skyrocketed compared to previous generations. Skyrocketed. And what else has skyrocketed? Depression and suicide. This is the most accepting our world has been with the LGBTQ community yet they are one of the highest communities ending their lives. Whether you're firmly rooted in the word of God or you're feeling shaky or you're just kind of over the word of God, but you're still struggling with identity and life and just confusion, I just feel like now is the time to really, really give yourself over to the word of God. Give yourself over to the, the truth that the word, the Bible has in it. Just search, dig, deep dive into his word because I believe that there is truth in there. You want to know who you are, you'll find it in the word of God. You'll find it walking with the Father daily, not in the world. Stop trying to find yourself in the world. You're not you're not gonna find yourself. You're gonna have a million different identities from the world. A million other people will tell you who you are. God tells you exactly who you are and he says, and I also I know who you are because I made you. The world didn't make you. The world tries to make you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and you didn't just come from nothing. Right. You start going down that road and then it becomes much easier to say, well, is this really even a life? 
Uh a baby that's you know in the womb who am i i can be anything i want to be and nothing at all because uh, what does it even matter i was just made by chance Uh, let's let's play this we'll discuss identity at large but also take the time to personally reflect on how i came into my truth so that we like many others are able to live our lives authentically how i came into my truth yes and then that equates with living life authentically i can't imagine living life on my truth (laughs) <laughs> That's a scary thought. Living life on Morgan's truth. Oh, wow. But seriously, the moment I start to live a little bit on my truth, things just fall apart, come crashing down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the Bible says that the heart is deceptive above all things, like left to ourselves. <laughs> it's chaos. It's almost like how prideful do you have to be to say I'm gonna live on my truth it is pretty wild like even if you are someone who doesn't believe in the word subscribe to the word of God which there are plenty you don't and even some who say they do that don't <laughs> to just bring it all into a self-focused identity and lifestyle that that does seem just it's very prideful yeah and you know that's interesting how when you think of celebrities like Demi Lovato, Selena Gomez, Miley Cyrus, Taylor Swift, Justin Bieber, they have literally grown up since they were 14, whatever, 12, 14, 15, being worshiped. And that's kind of scary. That's terrifying. I've thought about that. Like you're idolized. You are an idol. You are worshiped. Maybe that's potentially one of the reasons we're seeing so much of this. They've been worshiped. There's really no higher power. Yep. And she experimented, it would seem, with different religions, but... And that's normal. They usually all do experiment a little bit, or or you hear from them of, I grew up going to church, or mm-hmm. I grew up at a in a Bible-thumping state. It's yeah, like, so, that doesn't mean anything so, to me. It shouldn't mean anything to you. And guys, we hope, and we've seen it, I believe. I mean, it can happen, just a radical conversion with a celebrity yeah and I, man i would love that with demi lovato i would love nothing more with demi lovato yeah. and miley cyrus and lil nas x i would love it but yeah when you are worshipped as they kind of are and then that also goes back to suddenly maybe their career is eh, waning mm-hmm. oh i don't know what to do i'm used to being worshipped i am my own god i am um call well, me yeah what can call I do? me they them do you love me again? Honestly, I think am I, you're am I, something. Am I a hero again? <laughs> Paul asked me a few days ago if I followed like any celeb- celeb- any celebrities on Instagram. And I had to think about it for a minute because I really do not. And it's purposeful. Like, you know, I follow a few other YouTubers. Um, but I really, as far as like mega celebrities like Miley Cyrus or Hailey Bieber or whatever, like... I don't follow those people and it's very purposeful because I don't want their lifestyle in my life. I don't want, even if it's not necessarily like, which if you follow Miley Cyrus, like there's no way it's not raunchy or just gross and super worldly, but I don't want to follow a bunch of worldly people. That shouldn't be what we desire. Even when it comes to social media, like I get that there are some people. I will say, you know, (laughs) if there's like a celebrity that I feel like is walking with the Lord, I think it's fun. Well, yeah, that's fine. To follow them. Which I don't, I honestly, like, there's maybe, like, one that I follow on Instagram and I can't even think of who it is. But you see what I'm saying, like... And that's, that's fine. If they're walking with the Lord and you're seeing true, genuine fruit from them, yeah, yeah. give them a follow. Yeah, if they, you know? if their life, it can be fun and exciting, but it is yeah. also aligning with the word of God and inspiring you in those things, sure. But yeah. how many of them are? Like, I follow Joanna Gaines. I love her. There you her. go. How many of right. them are having an authentic, true gospel type of life versus even the ones that claim to be a Christian, the Hollywood version of Christianity? All right, guys, but we want to hear your thoughts on this Demi Lovato situation saying I'm they, them. How do you process that? Let us know. Let's keep the conversation going. And one last thing I do want to say, if you are someone out there who is struggling with your identity, who is got pronouns in your bio, who is just trying to figure it out, we would love to have a genuine conversation with you because as confusing as this life is and as confused as it as I am by it, I am very solidly firm in my identity as a woman woman of God as a child of God. I hope that you can see the confidence and the genuine just truth that Paul and I live in on a regular basis. Whether you agree with the word of God or not, I hope that you do see that like 
we are confident and we are firm in who we are and what we believe. And so if you are someone who is just struggling with, I don't know who I am. I don't know what I believe. We'd love to talk to you. Yeah, we would. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciated us risking our necks, putting our necks out there in a scary, I mean, it's, scary. Yeah, this is a tough world. A tough world to tackle and, and shed light on and be bold in. But if you appreciated it, give it a thumbs up. All right, guys, we love you all very much. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll catch you again very soon. Have hope. And be free. I just have never been obsessed with celebrities. You so said you struggle. messaged Nick Jonas. That's true, I did. So don't even I did like act it. like it. Don't even <laughs> act like you are Miss Perfect in this area.